Well, the future is still uncertain for employees at the Anchor Hawking Glass Plant in Lancaster. Tonight, the family and friends have joined hands for those on and still off the job at Fairfield County's largest employer. Fox 28 reporter Rob Wells explaining their reason for praying. Father, pray that you bless these precious people. Dozens. When you think you can't do anything else. Both young and old. What you can do is pray. Hold hands and pray for the future of the Anchor Hawking Glass Plant in Lancaster. Hey, we can rest in the shelter of the almighty God. More than 1,000 workers were laid off a month ago to offset profit losses. Maurice Lewis was one of a few called back to work this week. I've been here for 34 years. Uh, and I am the, the lowest man in our department with 34 years, you know, so anybody with less than 34 years is still out of work. We're resting and waiting for you. I mean, we come expecting that you are going to do something mighty and something awesome. The prayer vigil was organized by Holly Allen, whose son found himself out of work after 11 years on the job. The idea is to uh, get uh, the support of Lancaster and the prayers. Um, just lift this place up because it's going to be a terrible thing for Lancaster if Anchor Hawking closes its doors. Anchor Hawking says while some workers are back, they will continue to reduce staff over the next few weeks and seek additional ways to conserve cash and reduce expenses. 40 years I put in here. I never had any worries. And I've been retired 16. I guess time changes, changes things. Rob Wells reporting Anchor Hawking employees telling Fox 28 that in August, the company Brass will make a final decision on if that plant will remain open or close for good. Until then, organizers of tonight's vigil say they're planning similar events to keep spirits up.